In this video, we'll figure out whether copper 2 nitrate, that's CuNO3-2, is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. To determine that, we need to know the neutralization reaction that produced the copper 2 nitrate. So, to get copper 2 nitrate in a neutralization reaction, we'll have copper 2 hydroxide, a base, plus nitric acid. That'll give us our copper 2 nitrate and water since it's a neutralization reaction. So, we have our equation, we need to know the strengths of each one of these substances in order to use these rules. This table here is really helpful, probably a good idea to memorize. So if we look at the table, we're looking to see if copper 2 hydroxide is a strong base. And it's not on our list, so that means it's going to be a weak base. I'm going to write WB up here. Nitric acid is right here. So nitric acid, we're going to put strong acid. So now we know the strengths of each of these substances here. So now we can use the rules. So we're looking for a weak base. Here's a weak base plus a strong acid. That'll give us a pH less than 7. That'll be acetic. According to our rules, when we react copper 2 hydroxide plus nitric acid, we'll end up with a copper 2 nitrate in water, which will be acetic. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.